오늘 시킨 옷 오늘 맡길래 오늘 입었지 오늘 시키면 오늘 오는 브랜디 하루 배송 하루 배송 오늘 입은 옷이 오늘의 나니까 하루 배송으로 오늘의 나를 바꿔봐 브랜디 하루 배송은 무료 배송 무료 반품 Uh, thank you for participating to today's event. I'm Jong Hyun Hwang from Brand Inc. So, so today's presentation is uh, made up of three parts. We want to look uh, our target market. Second would be a uh, uh, business overview of our company, and third would be why invest into branding. So currently, the global uh, fashion market is uh, 19 billion dollars, and In trends, it's uh, polarizing between luxury brands and fast fashion brands. Gen Z and, and millennials are the leading uh, consumers in this trend, and they are very uh, tech savvy. They own smartphones. They are friendly with SNS and love online shopping. They also love content making, and to create content on a daily or weekly basis, they still need a lot of uh, outfits. Which is leading to the increasing penetration of the e-commerce market within the fashion industry. Because of these trends, um, even uh, original fast fashion brands such as Zara, H&M, and Uniqlo are lagging in the competition for fast uh, fashion, while a Chinese brand Shane continues to show strong growth. We believe that Dongdaemun, uh, which is the largest fashion cluster in the world, As a competitiveness to uh, compete with uh, Chinese brands, because not only it has a, a large size, or, or also has uh, designing, production, and distribution within five kilometers of radius. Due to this environment, uh, it can produce more products and in a shorter time than fast fashion brands. And as mentioned, our vision is to take this uh, local market to the global stage. So, passing on to our business overview, our business our business model is made up of three domains. First is fashion platforms. Second is uh, seller solutions, and third is our logistics system FBB. In our uh, fashion platforms, we uh, use vertical brands or vertical apps to target uh, very uh, segmented users, which we divide into three axes. One is by gender. Two is by age, and third is by uh, region. Currently, we have been focusing on the domestic domain, and now we're trying to um, pass into the overseas market. Our domestic uh, domestic business has recorded robust growth. Passing on to our second domain, which is uh, seller solution helpy. So, um, business opening in the fashion industry, and especially in Dongdaemun, is very lagging because of. Uh, Business owner have to take care of all business operations, so we wanted to to help business owners to focus on the core areas, which are selecting products and listing those products. So our uh, seller, uh, seller solution aids uh, business owners to focus on these areas and also open business without risk and inventory risk. So why invest into branding? Currently, we are. Uh, Trying to uh, surpass into the global business, a global market, by first going to the Japanese market. Japan, though the fashion market has been lagging, uh, the e-commerce market still is showing uh, rapid growth. And a second point is that Japanese Gen M and Z users are referring to Korean fashion for their daily looks. So we we think this is an, a business opening to to us to enter the market. On a longer scale, uh, we're trying to take uh, into the global market, and we believe that there were uh, three waves that have uh, made Korea a global country. First was K-content or K-drama. Second is K-pop, and third is K-beauty. We believe that the next wave will be K-fashion, and we we think this uh, can be an opening if we take K-culture, such as K-pop idols like BTS or uh, Blackpink, and Dongdaemun fashion. Would be a, a opening for the global market. 
So our global strategy is to first uh, digitalize Song Demon Apparel, take it into uh, content in our platform, create a, a global fashion brand, and market it through uh, K-pop idols or K-culture. So in a nutshell, our, our business is trying to digitalize uh, Dong Demun Apparel uh, with our seller and fulfillment business. Uh, you use, utilize a general, a gen MNZ sellers to help them in their business and also target them as our buyers and take this into a more bigger market, which is the global fashion market. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Zhongyu, for your presentation. So let us get some questions from the jury. Okay, so Marco from Fashion Technology Accelerator. Yes, thank you. So you mentioned that now you would like to go to, new, so, you know, to Japan. Um, which kind of challenges do you see coming to Europe? Because it seems to me that it's a very concrete system and you have many different things. So which kind of challenges do you face into coming to Europe straight away instead of, you know, before expanding to Japan? So our hurdles for going to uh, Western countries would be two hurdles. First is the difference in size of clothing because Dongdaemun apparel is more focused on domestic or Asian size. And second would be um, logistics. Currently, we're recording very high growth not only because of our apparel, but also our service competitiveness. So we do overnight delivery in the domestic market, and we want to take this service to the global scale. However, uh, for this, we it's a very capital intensive investment. So taking it to local areas is more uh, capital effective. However, taking it to Western or Europe or America is, is still a big task for us. Okay, very clear. So second question might be from Isabel from Fan Business Angel. Yes, excuse me. Yes, I had uh, the same first question, but I have, um, uh, like, I, uh, Marco, but I had a second question. I would like to know the, from your business model, how you can um, mask in a different way uh, than the other models of, uh, of this fashion. Oh, uh, how, how the, the margin rate can be different uh, from for you? Uh, pardon, are you asking for our take rate from GMB or uh, profit margins? For GMB, Wendy. I would like to know in, in which way you are different in your margin, margin rate. Uh, well, we have uh, two types of business models. One is a 1P. Uh, so we have our own brands and two would be a 3P marketplace. For marketplace, it dif uh, differentiates between seller, but we take between uh, 15 to 25% depending on the seller. And for the 1P would be 100% uh, take rate. Based on that, we have uh, 45 to 50 in uh, Cox. So, and the rest would be marketing and logistics. So this uh, is a part that we have to scale up and reach economies of scale. So that's the reason we're currently uh, uh, recording losses in our profits. Okay, so let us hear another question from Heian. As for uh, as a hurdle for overseas market, you mentioned the size issues and logistic issues. And um, uh, in terms of the size issues, is it the reason why you are planning to have also develop a sort of a private label brand uh, to solve this issue? And second question about the logistic issue, you are already in Japan. So are you already using a demand forecast uh, to anticipate the needs or how do you overcome the hurdle there? Uh, first of all, for size issues, yes, uh, that's a reason we are trying to use uh, or create our own fashion brand. And second, for uh, logistics. So even in the domestic market, uh, we are using uh, demand forecasting. 
but also this uh, was uh, possible because we were using a 1P business model. Uh, if it was a 3P, we would, we would have to collaborate with our sellers and also our uh, uh, consumers. However, if we have a 1P model, uh, we can only we only need to uh, forecast our, our our products. So uh, we're taking this business model uh, into Japan and also globally. That's why we can do uh, demand forecasting. So last question, um, a brief one from David. Yes, very quick. So you're you're verticalizing a cluster, and uh, you know I think the idea is great, but. It seems to me that from a macro point of view, the ambition is, is enormous and, uh, and I'm failing to see exactly where you start. Where do you start? In which part of the fashion industry do you start? You talk to geographies, you talk to Japan. Where, where do you think that uh, you, have, you have the best fit for your model? Uh, to rephrase your question, are you meaning, uh, are we focusing on global expansion or um, value no. chain? Yeah, no, the, the, the operating model is very clear. I'm, I'm curious, which part of the fashion industry are you focusing on? Because they all have very different demands. They work in very different ways. You talk to us about Japan. You talk to us about, you know, clothing for babies, you know, clothing for millennials. You know, where do you start? Where do you think that there's best fit for your model? Right there? For our current model, we are, we're trying to take it to the fast fashion, which in price-wise would be uh, low end. Um, a will be about 30 to 40 dollars. However, as mentioned, we are trying to create a, a global fashion brand, which could increase our um, uh, price positioning. So we try to take it into a two track strategy in uh, price wise, but the second one would take a longer time. So currently we're focusing on the uh, low end side of the market. Okay, so that will be it for Brandy. Thank you, Jungi, for your presentation and your answers.